Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Solo Supreme and welcome back to the Victoria 2 Belligerent Brazil campaign where we last left off. We had invaded China and I have no idea what happened, but when we did the invasion, instantly China westernized and it lost all of its satellites and whatnot. I have no idea what happened, but that's what happened with China. So now we have a chunk of China and slowly they are going to become stronger throughout the game and it's going to cost us more infamy points to take over this territory but I'm not sure if this territory is going to be too palatable because when we took it over our literacy rate dropped like by a, a, over half it was about like what 40% drop I think and it's all over this like one state over here, but this one state is full of millions of people. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, we're just gonna sit down here and these two armies just keep a lookout. We're gonna have our fleet down here as well. We might move these guys back shortly. Now China's at war with Gongxi. This is just becoming a mess. So we have to upgrade Transball. So right now we're just gonna be focusing on building our sphere of influence. We're researching this terminology and hermeneutic right here get the research points at least back to where they were and then we could try to go for social science because we really need to boost our education back up after what happened but we do have some ambitions like some imperial ambitions over in the UK I want to take a chunk out of the UK So once we get this done, uh, I kind of want to like lean back over towards like some of this industrial text and we can complete some of this other naval stuff, but we're going to have to do some military stuff within the next couple years because I want us to get a jump start over an invasion of Britain because Britain, aside from the North German Federation, they don't really have that much of a threatening disposition towards us all right so right now we're currently influencing Transvaal probably get that up actually can we let's see if we can not influence Portugal I mean Spain but let's try to influence Portugal oh no that will be no let's go for Spain actually Spain seems like they're pretty strong and stable in this like campaign, so I want to get them as an ally. Why is Japan influencing Spain? That's kind of weird. Oh jeez, that dip. Oh, we lost so much progress of our literacy from that. I'm trying to make up for it by trying to like promote as many clerks as we can to at least boost the uh, research point score we get from them. All right, we're now friendly with Transvaal. All right now we're just gonna sit down and generate some income. Man, but man, I really want to get an alliance with France. We get an alliance with France, like have a alliance network with France and the United States, we'll be able to like handle Great Britain with so much ease. As you can see, the United States could easily just come up through Canada, take that over. But we need this, like this is the industrial heartland of Britain. If we take this, Man, our score is going to kick up. Yeah, you can have military access. Are you at war with anybody? 
Oh. It's a thing for the Spain. Oh, uh, and it looks like China is losing this war with Gunshi. As long as China isn't too weakened, that would be good for us. See any crises about the trigger? Let's see. If any crisis is going to trigger, we're going to try to step in like early on. I want us to like climb up on the score rankings because right now our industrial score, we are the lowest of the great powers by like leagues. And let's see our literacy rate highest is definitely in Brazil we have like our literacy rate is super high in Brazil but then if you go to here we got all these looks like good and such but these are mostly just our territories where would it be Jinx Shu our most populous region the high like the lowest literacy rate is 7% we're gaining literacy points because <laughs> we gave them access to our Portuguese schools and they're now learning Portuguese instead of Chinese so they should be getting used to it. We're trying. We're just trying to counteract this lopsided nature of this whole thing. Almost able to sphere trans ball. And also, it kind of sucks because like most of the ships out here won't be able to won't be able to repair until like we get this naval base up. And that's gonna be like a, another year. Let's see, what is Belgium's relations looking like? The secondary power, and they're hated by France. Pretty much, they're hated by most people over here. They hate the UK though. Uh, no, I'm gonna pass up on Belgium. Kind of liking how Spain is right now. They seem to be pretty decent. Let's try to get Spain and Portugal within our sphere of influence. And then we can move on from there. All right, the ironclads have finished. More ironclads are getting produced now. Yep, once these ironclads are done, I'm gonna start building more. Actually, yeah, let's start on that right now. Just build a ton of ironclads. Gonna have like to have multiple fleets going on. Upgrade you, upgrade you. Might as well upgrade these naval bases because we are going to need it. It'll help increase our fleet size. Let's say access from China. Uh, nope. Sorry. I'm hoping maybe maybe we get lucky. The Heavenly Kingdom thing will pop off, and we could fabricate a claim on them and try to swiftly come in and take it from the Chinese before they can like reclaim it. That's the best case scenario. Alright, I'm going to kick it up to high speed, Just try to boost this along, Spain, increase our pain with them. Alright, Transvaal, we can add you to our sphere now. Alright. Still got until January of next year. 
Dang, I wish we didn't lose all of our literacy progress from that, but it is what it is. Alright, so you're a decent flea. We're gonna move you over here. Just get as many of these things up and running as possible. Alright, so that's done. How long will this take us? Till next year. Well, we might as well go for this. Uh, just off the fact that it will... Uh, or should we just stick with industry? 1880. No, no. Let's go for this, but then like focus on industry next. We definitely could use it. Uh, lower the speed just for a little bit. Russia is at war for uh, is like the current war Abu Dhabi to Sri Lanka, I guess. All right, uh, we can get Eritrea or down here, the rest of Eritrea that's uncolonized. Go for that. Looks like they're trying to add them into their sphere. In preparation for when Abu Dhabi gains oil. Spain took over this part of Nejd. You can lower that for Transvaal and then focus mostly on Spain right now. Let's also keep up. Alright, you're so high, you're so high. Let's talk to Japan. Get some more relations with Japan. Because who knows, we may need them in the future. Also, let's start something with Korea. Like, I understand China, I mean, Japan wants to have Asia in their sphere of influence. We're not going to really compete with them on that. Still out of naval range for Easter Island. Yeah, you can have military access, Gunshi. Fast forward a bit. Looks like China once again gained the upper hand. What if we... We have a truce until when? Oops. 1890. Okay. Still a bit of ways away. Spain, increase our opinion. All right, so now we're friendly with Spain. Still don't want an alliance with you, Belgium. This is so ignorant. All right, we'll be able to pass another reform soon, I should hope. Afterwards, let's see, how's our new fleet coming along? Looks like it's coming along nicely. Let's continue building steam transports in Africa. Two in America. Let's keep building it up. Uh, we can also lower the naval budget right now. We're not at war. We can keep the military budget high because we know what we're going to be facing soon. Uh, speaking of that, we can start shipping you guys over. So let's get on that. You guys can move down here. Do -do. And then 
Actually, this is today and then another. To start these troops in from Africa will come in handy. Pick you guys up and ship you over here. Create a protectorate in this place. Boom. There we go. So now, rest of Sh Schubelberg. Or German Federation. All right. This, there's not really no other wars, and we can step in on this. Slow down, speed three. All right, so China annex Gongxi. All right, strongly inclined to support Austria. Let me see, what's Russia's relations looking like? All right, they're kind of amiable with Austria. They like Austria more than the UK, but let's, let's see where this goes for a little bit before we pick a side. Let's see, they're, oh, they're allied. Okay, so Austria is allied. Let's just see this goes for a little bit. All right, support you. All right, so Russia, it seems that Russia is strongly inclined to join our side. See, I don't think this war may not fire off. If it does, it'll be good. All right, yeah, most of these ships are traveling across from Africa. That's awesome. They'll be able to park themselves down here. Let's see. Uh, I just don't like how these guys have planned economy. Yeah, it looks like Russia. It's also increased relations with Russia. We haven't done that in a while. Russia joined our side. North Germans. UK. They're gonna join their side. I'm hoping this war fires off. And we are heavily influencing Spain right now. And then once we finish with Spain, we'll go to Portugal. Most of this African infantry is gonna take a little bit to finish being created. Expand the naval base. Handling it, so let's kill these guys, those damn Jacobins. Looks like this war is actually gonna happen. And with that said, I am going to start putting some points in the military right now, some military tech. Here comes the other armies being forged. Celebration of freedom. Hmm. All right, so 
All pops South Polo, Stream Lens to see regain consciousness. Yeah, I actually think this war is gonna happen. Game five liberal in the upper house. Oh, I need like about five more liberals. If it was ten, we would have been able to pass the number four. Oh, let's skip towards May. Yeah, it looks like this war is actually gonna happen, so let's raise the naval budget. You you have the honor of going up here. Alright. Uh, the other fleet is nearly done. Alright, so let's go for point defense systems. Definitely need this if we're going to get into naval battles. So, so about introspectionism. Let's also, let's get that. I need to get that done. Honestly, even if I add this, I want to see if I can add, like, the war goes heavily in our favor. I want to see if I can add, like, Northwest or Northeast England. Uh, Great Britain is in my territory right now. I'm not liking this. They have, they already have access to my territory. Uh, they're going to be coming down here too. We can abandon that part. Uh, head over here. Ah uh, yes, hard work and toil. I love that event. Cut the defense spending down. There we go. So we're now at war with Great Britain. Let's also put you guys on a boat and ship you guys up here. So now, if we can, we'll try to go for Northwest England. I believe that should be like the industrial heartland. So Southeast England, Northwest England. So Southeast England, let's like, oh, that's their capital, but uh, Northwest and Northeast. They got coal and such up there. And it still looks juicy. We'll gain a couple good points from that. All right, that's done. Of course, the Brits have a drop on us. But that's fine. All right. Um, you guys, as long as they can siege this down, but I'm going to set my men up like close together so they could be on the defense. So you build in more ironclads. Oh, of course, they destroyed something that was down. Oh, they attacked it. Oh, but it's going to get parked off in France. French territory.
Come on. Go over here. Try to go around all that. Should handle it, have this handled. Speaking of which, oh yeah, since we also have, I forgot Mother Russia is on our side. Uh, even through all this dense jungle, we still have to get better railroads to move faster, but this is still something, since we're not the war leader, we can't call in our our orbit down here. I wonder, can we call in Paraguay? No, oh, still can't, still no. War is not going well enough. It's because they're winning battles. Capture all of this territory. Actually, let's see if we can get the drop on though. Okay, they're attacking our little mini fleet we have. They're like going about searching the place. We could defeat this unit in Guyana. Or just outside Guyana. Hopefully we can deal with these guys. Looks like it. Alright. Let's see if we can pick off some of these small isolated units. So it's because of this initial German victories over here in Russia. France is up with a little bit more pressure. Austria is kind of doing it over here. Try and get rid of these guys. All right, looks like uh, France has joined in on the, this battle. Let's park you guys in here. You actually might have to come in you soon. All right, there goes my alarm. Doo -doo -doo. All right, let's just see how these next couple battles go. France is, looks like they're breaking through this German flank. All right, where he's going, Mahida. All right, let's go over there, try to see if we can just kill these guys off. Oh, France got there first. All right, so they had 10% war. All right, that's done. Yeah, let's focus on military techs right now. All right, what do you have? Two attack, three attack. Go to the other uh, 16. Wait one day. All right, you should get there right afterwards. Crush these Germans. They're gonna have like they have a high military advantage, but we got numbers on them. 
That's what I'm hoping for. Alright, let's see back over here. Go up there, make sure they don't have a chance to recover. Alright, you are going to Wang Du. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode off right here. And when we return, we shall continue on with this. The North German War of Romania and Freedom. They don't have the war goal. Yeah, the war goal is down here, I believe. Yep. They have to go all the way down here. And their face looks like Russia has mobilized their forces. And I'm hoping, like, this line looks like Austria has broken in a little bit. Germany is kind of like overextended right now. France has broken uh, through Western Germany over here. They're already invading the Rhineland, so they're going to pour in and start attacking shortly, like just mopping up the rest of these North German forces. And it looks like they've rallied. The French have started a rally uh, around here. And I think this means right now Britain may be... I think Britain may not have any troops over there that's that might be this might be a particularly good chance for us to possibly I don't know do something like actually let's let's get these guys over here if this is the case um next episode I want to see if I can drop some men down in the UK and that should help us out. So I hope you guys like and enjoy the episode. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And when we return, we shall steer uh, this war to hopefully our victory. It seems likely now. Since Russia is mobilized, we're going to see like a whole lot of Russian troops like coming. Like all the way back here, as you can see. They're going to be moving towards the uh, western front. So I hope to see you guys again in the next episode. This is Soul Supreme, and good day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.